this class, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick something that I want everybody to learn from, OK? I want you to kind of learn it correctly, because I see my old time students still needing some help with this, OK? Now, I asked myself, why do I keep on seeing this, yet I seem to keep on uh, teaching it, but no one seems to pick it up. We talk about it, and we think, well, that's the way it is. That's the way it is. And we kind of gloss over it, and we say, well, just forget about it. That's easier. But I'm going to come back to it, because I like things to be challenging for me and challenging for you. All right. If for any reason this movement makes you feel that you have to do it your same old way, then I can't do anything about it. But listen carefully. If you do it the way I teach you, it will become a safer way. But the safer way looks harder. Okay? And Victor's telling you it's repulsing of the monkey. Okay? And you remember, when you first learned repulsing of the monkey, you said, oh my goodness, I can't go backwards. I can't even keep my balance forward. And now she's asking us to go backwards. All right. But we know that Tai Chi is safe. We know that we need to use our whole bodies in every movement besides our mind. Okay? So you're going to watch. And when you watch, you're going to ask yourself, hey, is that the way I do it? And most likely, many of you will say no. Well, maybe we'll not admit it, but it is no from what I can see. Okay, all right. I'm going to go this. I'm going to go backwards this way, so better. So here we are, playing the lute. Actually, I'm going to go this way. Drop your front foot. Open your center. Your front hand. Open. Look at your back hand. That's higher. Lift. Ear, toe, heel. Pivot to the middle, repulse one. Center open, top hand higher, lift, ear, toe, heel. Pivot two, center open, lift, ear, toe, heel. Repulse. Three, center, open, look, lift, ear, toe, heel, repulse, four. All right, asking for good observation, good communication. What did you see that maybe you didn't ever see or you think that you can implement? Someone. Everybody knows everybody, so you shouldn't have any problem unless you feel that you did it really well. What the question is, and I need some feedback from at least three people, what is it that you saw that you can help yourself by learning? And if nobody wants to say anything and everybody says, I got it, then I guess class is dismissed. OK, good, good. Mike. So Mike, thank you. So Mike says, what I learned, what he learned, was to make sure that he lifts his foot and comes back. He didn't t tell me how to come back, but there's a, there's a sequel to it. So he's saying, I need to center, I need to lift, lift, and I need to come back. Anything more to add to that? It helps you with your balance. Definitely. What is helping with your balance? You're centering your hand, and as you lift this hand higher, you're getting better balance. You're getting leverage on this. Down here, hey, it's not giving me anything to lift up. Up here, yes, and this is centered. Now, once we gain this, it's allowing me, it's allowing me to come up and out. Out, and here's my safety. It's coming to my ear, okay? Out, down, pivot, here. One more. Open. And you notice that I'm not opening out here. I'm opening halfway and a little bit more. But I don't want to go this way. I want to go slightly high, slightly back, up, ear, back, down. 
what's happening to this foot? I heard one person give me a good um, uh, observation. What else? I want two more people to tell me. OK, good. Nathan wants to say something. All right. He says the back foot has to go. The back foot has to be raised and has to go out. Because if it doesn't go out, when you make that um, twist to come in, you want to be clear of the front foot. Do I make myself clear? All right. That one is the stickiest part that I always see. All right. So what I just said was, when you come, this is Mike's. He wants to make sure that he's balanced. This is Nathan. He wants to come out and then come in and then be safe. If I drag my foot this way, I should have never be a clash. Even if I'm coming and I'm slightly here, it's not good enough. So what does it take? It takes many things, many techniques. All right. This is how I see you doing it. It's the simple way, but maybe you feel it's the safest way. To me, it's simple, but it's not safe, OK? All right, let's see if I can do it. Up, you're coming here and here. That's an obvious. It's going to clash. But what is it? What else about my leg that's wrong? Watch again. What's wrong with this leg? Uh, what, what does this mean? Tell me. OK. Two things, I think you got it. Two things are wrong. One, I'm in the line of my front foot. Obviously wrong. But the most obvious that I try to show you is that it has to extend this knee out. We said it has to go out, but the only way it can go out is to extend that knee, fully extend the knee. OK? Any questions on what I just said? OK, let's see you do it. OK, I'll do it with you two times, and then I watch two times. But you don't, OK. So you try to do what you just learned. And then we work in gradations. We work slowly towards what we want to do, OK? All right, here we go. Play your lute. Drop your front foot. Center your front hand. Open. Look at the back hand that's higher. Lift up, ear, toe, heel. Pivot to the middle. Repulse of the monkey, one. Center, open. Lift, ear, toe, Heel, pivot to the middle, repulse two, you're on your own. Center, open, lift, ear, toe, heel, pivot to the middle, repulse three. Open, lift, ear, toe, heel, repulse of the monkey, three. One more. Open, lift, ear, toe, heel, repulse of the monkey, three. A four, five, whatever. OK, good. I see that I didn't see everybody, to tell you the truth, but the people I did see, you are making that attempt to making the knee stretch, stretch out, rather than you are making the attempt to stretch out and out and in. You want to get away from lifting up coming back here and here. So you say, I don't want to do that. So you're going to say, lift up. And you're still coming too short, even though you may have some clearance. But the best way to do is to cleanly come up. Okay, You don't have to come up really high, whatever your body can take you. Then when you stretch, you come out. But when you stretch to come out, you say, that's so scary. But what you do is you plant that foot down so firmly that nothing's going to make you move. Wow. OK, so you're going to have to practice that. Um, once you do that, I think that you will be in a better position and you won't have 
knee or joint problems. But just like anything else, and you can always remember the first time you came to Tai Chi, it's like cuckoo, it's crazy. Like, why are we doing this, you know? It's the same thing with this uh, movement. It seems, especially now that you're set in your ways, you're gonna have to change. That's a little harder to do. But understand that if you can lift, like we said, center and lift, but you can come out, like Nathan says, but when you come out, extend that knee. There is no buckle in it. Once there is a buckle, I am out of Tai Chi position and I will wobble. But once I'm firmly planted in my middle and this hand is higher, I can get that leverage to come up and out and extend. I'm so stable and then once you feel that you need to come down, you brace and you put your, that heel down on an angle, then you reposition yourself, okay? So I can't tell your body um, how you, I can't tell how your body feels and what it needs to do within that split second, but if you can understand, watch the lesson online again, run it through so that you clearly understand what's going on first, then try to make your body and your mind set it out. Just to reaffirm what she said in a maybe slightly different way, um, how your hands are, how your legs are, to help you with your balance and your stability. Say, if you are here, stability here, but Everything wants to go this way, but the hands are out this way. When I come out, still neutral. When I come up, if I bring my hand here, I am centering it of sorts. Then I bring this thing, which is out here, to center this leg. You see? This movement. And while I'm doing it, this hand is out here like a rudder on a boat. You know, I'm not... You're up here, this holds this and this together. Okay, so you can afford to come up this way. And then when this comes, everybody comes to the center. And then when you turn, stable, this thing rudder helping you, but because now you can pirouette on your back, straight leg, turn, pull your body back as you come back. That's one thing I don't see people do. They're just doing this, or they're, they're just coming back. What it is is, they, they just turn, but it's here. Come together, center here, keep this stable, this and this stable. Come up, come out, straight leg, turn, and I'm still up, upright. And then when I push and pull, because in this case, I'm trying to push the opponent and maybe try to pull him, I use my body. I don't pull him with my arms, I pull him with my body. Okay? Here. Here, okay, out, get balance again, come up, turn. That's what you're trying to do, okay? 